Okay, good afternoon class. Today our homework assignment is 4-2, which is using mental math to multiply. Now, guys, I'm going to cross out the word mental today. We're not going to do this mentally. Um, we're going to go ahead and just do it the normal way. And so what I want you guys to do, I'll do a couple problems with you, but uh, first of all, we're going to go ahead and write this out the vertical way. So 34 times 4, you're going to write down 34 times and if you don't have room to, do, if this is too too little of space for you to do it, um, you can write it off to the side or you can do it on a piece of scrap paper. Just make sure that you bring that scrap paper back to school with you tomorrow so that you can show me your work because I want to know, I want to see how you did this. Okay, so write it down the vertical way, 34 times 4. Make sure that when you write these problems down, you keep that ones place right on top of each other. Okay, keep the ones place on top and the ones place on on the bottom so that they're lined up perfectly. Okay, and then what I taught you today in class is we have our ones place and we have our tens place. So when we multiply, here's how we do it. We start out by saying ones to ones. So that means ones place to ones place. So four times four is 16. You have to be 16 to drive a four by four. So 16, you put your six and then carry your plus one up here. Okay, so 16. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ones place to tens place. So ones to tens. And 4 times 3 is 12. But don't forget, you have to add this one up here. So 12 plus one more is 13. So the answer to 34 times 4 is 136. Please circle your answer. Okay. Now, as you can see, that kind of leaves not a lot of space over here to do the uh, next one on the bottom. So if you want to do the, re the next one on the side, that's fine. Um, just make sure that you, you show your work somehow. Okay, let me do, I'll do two more for you here. The next one is 53 times 7. So I'm going to write that one over here. 53 times 7. Okay, and we're going to start it out by saying ones place to ones place. So 7 times 3 equals butterfly 21 in our class. If you're in another class, you probably don't know what that means when I say butterfly 21, so ask one of my students. They will explain it to you. Okay. Uh, once we get ones, ones place to ones place, we're going to multiply the ones place by the tens place. So we say ones to tens. And 5 times 7 is 35, but don't forget to add these two. So 35, 36, 37. So our answer here is 371. Okay, the next problem, I'll do one more with you. Uh, let's do 83 times 3 here. So 83 times 3. All right, and again, same thing. Ones place to ones place. 3 times 3 gives us 9. Okay, then ones place to tens place. 8 times 3 is 24. So we're going to write down 24. On this one, we did not have to carry any. So that's how that worked. 249. Make sure you circle your answer. Okay. Let me do one more. I'm going to do one more for you. I'll come down here and do 94 times 2. Here's another way you can do this if you want. You can just take this times 2, put the 2 right under the 4, and put your times. And you can just go this way if you want to. As long as you're showing your work, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So we're going to do it this way. We're going to start by saying ones place to ones place. Four times two gives us an answer of eight. And then we're going to say ones place to tens place. Nine times two is 18. So 188. Please circle your answer. Okay. So there you go. Um, I hope that makes sense to you. Do your best, and I will see you tomorrow.